So this is all about where we find metals, where metals come from. Now, there are a few metals which uh, are very unreactive and I can find just as they are in their element form. And one of those is gold and another one is silver. But most metals I don't find as elements, they're reacted with something. And we've got a word for a rock which contains a metal compound and that word is ore. And I've got two ores here. This one is, this ore is called malachite and it's copper carbonate, so it contains copper. And this ore is called hematite and it's iron oxide, so it contains iron. And these are ores. Right, this bit is all about how we extract different metals from their ores and we notice a few things. Uh, firstly, this is a reactivity series, so the most reactive uh, metal on this table is potassium and the least reactive is gold. Now silver and gold we know we find as elements on their own, so they're out the equation. Um, but then we've got all the elements from potassium down to copper. So what do we do? Well. If they're very, very reactive, if they're more reactive than carbon, there's only one way of extracting them from their ore. So if I've got aluminium oxide, the only way I can extract it from its ore is by using electrolysis. So what about those elements like zinc and iron and lead and copper? They're less reactive than carbon, so we've got a choice. We can either use electrolysis or we can react them with carbon, so we heat their ore with carbon. Now the better option is to react them with carbon because it uses less energy. So something like iron oxide, what I'll do is I'll heat it with carbon and that will form iron and carbon dioxide.